Hey everyone, it's Sand. So we have another event coming down the line, and thanks to my scraper, I can actually write my script hours before any of this goes live, so all I have to do is fill in the blanks. Whew. Now, this event's name is a bit of a mouthful. The Mobile Suit Bearing a Gundam's Face. Kind of an odd event name if you ask me, but I also don't know much about the series that are being added this time around. Let's get into it though, shall we? To kick off the gatch machines, Legolas. I know, it sounds a lot like the little elven archer, but no, it's not him. Frankly, this machine just looks super sleek, and it's a 4 star. 10 out of 10. It comes in from Age, and canonically piloted by Fizarl Ezelkant, and later on by Zahart Galette, it's a machine from the AG era. Of course, it was built based on captured, also read stolen, mobile suit data. Big surprise. So what's this going to be armed with? Well, it'll have a beam Vulcan turret set. That's right, beams. It's not going to be the normal, physical ones. It has a beam buster, which is actually a chest-mounted beam weapon. It has two beam Vulcan slash saber uh, combinations. I'm not really sure how to word it, but it's mounted in the hands. It can either shoot bullets or turn into sabers. It has the Legolas cannon, which is a beam rifle built into its tail. The Legolas rifle, which is the more standard handheld rifle you'd expect a Gundam to have. It has the Legolas Shield, which is an electromagnetic coated shield. I guess that's kind of a big deal. But the really cool thing with the shield, it can generate bits. Imagine funnels or dragoons, whatever the nomenclature is for the particular era. Pretty much autonomous, or sometimes not autonomous, sometimes they're controlled. Uh, they buzz around, they're like drones, they shoot beams at your target. Really cool. Uh, they lead to really cool looking light shows with lasers everywhere. 10 out of 10. The fact it can create them, mwah. Now on to the Earth 3. This is a really oddly named suit. I'm going to put the name on the video here. It's a brand new machine that's being added from RE Rise, the new anime airing on the 10th. And unfortunately, that means I got nothing on it. Sorry. It does appear to have a pretty cool looking beam rifle, two beam sabers, and an anti-beam shield. But the rest is unknown. Remember, because the anime starts on the 10th, there's really nothing I can do about this, we'll just have to keep an eye out for it. The 4 star rarity on it couldn't possibly be biased. Lastly, the welfare machine, the Hazel. Now, this one comes from the UC era, and was part of the Zeta side story, Advance of Zeta, the Flag of Titans. Now, this is the advanced Hazel variation, but I guess this is where the event name comes in. The Hazel is actually a GM quell that had parts swapped out with high-performance parts, and the head was actually replaced with an RX Gundam-type head. I wonder, is it still the same machine after all that swapping? Anyways, it comes with pretty basic armaments due to the fact it's really just a better GM quell, which is just a better GM custom, more or less. It has a Vulcan turret set, a beam saber, a beam rifle, a submachine gun, and an anti-beam shield. Like I said, it's nothing too exciting, but it does look pretty cool. And now that we've gotten all that out of the way, we should talk about our pilots. And, oh boy, we got some pilots this time. First off, Yazan Gable. Coming from Zeta and ZZ, he was one of the Titan Aces. He single-handedly took out a battleship, he racked up multiple kills on high-profile opponents, and he was able to hold his own against the Zeta Gundam in a modified mobile worker suit. He was actually quite the potent combatant. Coming in as a 3-star doesn't seem quite right, but considering his competition in the pilot gacha, uh, Haman Karn, the canonical pilot of the Quebli and an utterly driven, power-hungry leader of Neo Zeon. She's a very powerful new type, and Haman became cold and isolated from others after the events of the One Year War. She grew up on Axis and was trained as a soldier, and just kind of an overall negative opinion of things, became very uh, one-minded, pretty much. She's very iconic, very recognizable, and to any Quebly pilots, here you go. Now, this event is going to work just like the Ash and Transformer. Each part will give you the marked bonus percent on drops, so running three full welfare suits will get you about 360% up. But since these events seem to be rounding up, it's more like 400. It's not bad. But remember, you are going to have to start leveling those welfares if you're doing the free-to-play stuff going forward, or you're going to be suffering with a 240% multiplier instead, you know, using one suit for actual clearing. But, you know, think about your poor energy reserves, man. You really gotta min-max those coin drops doing free-to-play. 
And just like the last event, other machines are going to be getting a boost too. So outside of the stuff that's shown on the banner, we have the Zeta at 30% per part, Quebly at 30%, Hyakushiki at 15 Rick Diaz at 10 Gundam Mark II at 10 Palace Athene at 10 and the GM2 at 10 And also, just like the last event, you can get another guaranteed 4-star rate up part after rolling enough times. They haven't published the numbers yet, but if it's the same as last time, you're going to need 22,500 horror chips to get a guaranteed. Anyways, that's going to be it for me until the patch drops. Peace out, I'll see you in the next video.